Hello, welcome to our today's how-to video. Today I want to show you a new feature or a feature, one of the main features with our Wattpalot, the dynamic load balancing feature. It means that you can balance the loads and the current in one system accordingly. And yeah, for this reason we have a Wattpalot right here and we also have the solar Wattpalot, which we are now going to take a closer look into. If you want to use this feature, please make sure to download the newest version on the Wattpalot and also on the Solar Wattpalot app. All right, in the Solar Wattpalot app, we are in the start page here and we go to settings on the very bottom and then we go to load balancing. Here, we simply need to select dynamic load balancing. So we, need, we see the check mark on the right hand side and then there pops up a few features. The first one would be maximum delivery current and this would be the maximum current on the feed-in point of my system. So this is really the AC panel of my house. Let's say it allows me uh, up to 32 amps of current. Then I select this as a maximum here and all three watt pallets, should I use three, would then split up the 32 amps accordingly for these three members. We hit the save button come out to the main menu and have the second one, which is a new feature right now. It's the maximum current of the supply line. And with this one, we mean per uh, supply line of the watt pallet, we also can select the maximum current here because it could of course differ between the feed-in point and the supply line. So here, of course, I could set a different value if I say, okay, the uh, uh, feeding point has a maximum of 32 amps, the supply line to the watt pallet is with 25 amps, then of course the watt pallet would use this one as its uh, latest measurement point and would check if uh, all of these three members do not surpass these values. Step number three is the phase assignment. And if we select this one here, we can see, okay, how is the selection? Is it phase one, two, three, or two, three, one, or whatsoever? Because it can be quite tricky if I have three watt pallets and all three of them, I want to use single phase. And all of those three would use this, the first phase to start up and to use the, the, the surplus power. Because then we would have a, um, uh, unbalanced load, of course, which could cause problems. So if I use more than one watt pallet, it could make sense to select the first one to the assignment one, two, three, the second one to two, one, three, and the third one to, for example, three, one, two. So all three phases are, um, are used then for the single phase watt pallet connection. We hit the save button, come out again and have as next button the priority section. Between, we can differ here between high, medium and low. This simply means, okay, the priority high starts first with the charging process and then medium and low. And if I have two of the watt pallets selected with the same priority, they just um, split the available current and uh, use it both for the charging process. Yeah, next up is the fallback mode, which I can set. Uh, and this means if there should be any communication problem between watt pallet and, and inverter or between smart meter and inverter, this would be the fallback value, a current value that the watt pallet can still use. So please make sure to select this one in um, coordinates with all the other supplies in the household, with all the other loads in the household. Because if the watt pallet still runs with six amps, I still want to use my oven or my heat pump, which could, for example, use up to 10 amps. So select it accordingly. In our case, we select it with six amps. That's perfectly fine. And we hit the save button. And last but not least, we have the overview, which gives me a direct overview, as it's called, of all the watt pallets I have in use. So for example, if I have two watt pallets in the system here, I see all the, the status, first of all, priorities, maximum current, and so on and so on. So it could also give me a better overview how I set the whole thing up and how it could interconnect. All right, so that's it for the load balancing feature. 
If you are finished with all the settings, please don't forget, hit the save button on the top right corner.